Welcome our dear students. I will be giving insights about delivering quality education through flexible learning in the new normal. The content of the talk are as follows. First, what is learning management system? Second, ed model concept. Third and onwards will be a video demonstration on the following. Creating ed model student account, updating student profile, how to view and access posted files, assignments, and announcement by your teachers. How are you going to upload your deliverables such as assignment, reflection papers, activities, and others? And what are those important matters that you need to take note in taking examination? And lastly, basic and model troubleshooting so you will be able to solve and assist yourself if ever you will be encounter problem. Okay, so first is let us define what is learning management system. So LMS is actually an acronym for learning management system. It is a software that enables companies and educational institutions to create and manage lessons, courses, quizzes, and other training materials. A learning management system also aids the organization deliver training materials and lessons to employees, to students, or even to their partners. LMS is actually a big help in every institution nowadays to continue delivering quality education in the new normal. And it is nowadays a requirement in every institution by the Commission on Higher Education as a medium of communication to the student, teachers, as well as parents. Okay, I have in here some of the few of the available learning management system that we can use in the new normal. Okay, the first one is Schoology. Second one is Blackboard. We also have in here Moodle, Talent LMS, the Google Classroom, the Canvas, and the Edmodo. So our school will be using Edmodo as the medium of communication to our stakeholders, which, which is our student, okay? So from here, let us define first what is this Edmodo. So you will be able to have an idea what is Edmodo all about, okay? So it is actually defined as a social learning network and discussion platform where teachers and students can interact and collaborate online. The web-based application is available for teacher, student, parents, and even to the administrators. The application is free. You don't need to pay. And it is actually easy to use. All you need to do is create your student account. And there is no installation setup involved. Okay, so listed below are the features of the Edmodo the learning management portal that we will be using. First, actually, it has a discussion forum. So the student and the parents can actually communicate to each other because there is such thing as messages, features inside the Edmodo. Okay, second one is the learning material management that every teacher can actually create their modules, lectures, or uh, lessons, okay? And then, um, a synchronous document sharing, okay? So with the current setup right now that we, the teachers, are only allowed to do synchronous or online face-to-face -face discussion with our students, then the rest of the hours of the subject will be considered as a synchronous. And through the Edmodo, those documents can be posted and can be accessed by the student over the Edmodo. Platform. Okay, the next is content library allows teachers to store unlimited content for easy sharing and reuse. Okay, so there is such thing as a storage where the teachers can prepare ahead and up upload all those preparations in advance in actually a secret uh, folder which is actually called library. Okay, that 
any time that the teacher would like to extend or post these lectures, topics, or even the assignments can easily be uh, reached out under the library. Okay, next is secure platform which ensures safety and privacy for users. Okay, so Edmodo actually have this level of security where each user will be given an access level of access like a teacher access a student access or a parent access so they actually have different ways to use and access the ed model okay no private information is required from the students okay so they will be asking information once you you create an account obviously in every every time that we will be having a uh, new account, uh, they're going to ask a little of information from us, but it is actually secured and safe to the Edmodo administrator. The next one is a student can actually join classes by invitation only from the teachers or their instructor. So once the teacher created a class, okay, there is such a unique class code generated by the Edmodo for that particular created class and this class can be extended by the teachers to the student in order for them to easily join on the said classes okay by their teachers okay next okay teacher or the instructor has full management control okay because the teacher is actually in a teacher access level okay another one is teacher or the instructor can track student progress. Since the teacher is in a teacher level access, so she or he can actually see or track or monitor every student enrolled on, on that particular class. Okay, so mobile learning. Um, it's not only accessible online through the website, okay? You can also download such a model in the Google app and you can actually have it in your mobile phone handy and use it anytime and any place, okay? With, with regards to mobile application, okay, the mobile application can be passed, the Edmodo can be possibly downloaded to the iOS or the iPhone mobile as well as the Android, okay? So it can also be accessible via mobile browser, no? We all know that you can have the Google on your mobile and through this, all you need to do is for you to, to select, okay, the view on how are you going to view the Edmodo using the mobile browser, okay? The next one is updates and notification on the go. Do you know that every now and then the teachers will be doing something on the Ed modo such as uh, posting files, lessons, uh, giving assignments, okay? Everything will be given notifications on your email, okay? So you can actually monitor or check easily if the teacher has anything to do or ask to do from the students, okay? And then the last one is it has actually ability to create polls, Pieces or the examinations, the assignment, okay, the blogs, notes, and even the budgets, okay, for, for the different achievement of, of the teacher's student. Okay, next. Okay, so the next will be the topic number two, which is all about creating Edmodo student account. Okay, so with this, I'll be ending this presentation and then I'll be seeing you guys on the next video, which is a, de a video demonstration on how are we going to create an Edmodo student account. Bye, see you.